Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today, and as you all know, I bought a Sony Z5, and I updated, like most other people did, to the new software for Android, which is, I think, 6.0, and the problem is, if you hit on Play Store, that pops up. But what's really annoying is if you click on pretty much anywhere, sometimes if you click on anything, and you try to type or anything like that, it's not doing it right now, which is nice, but it'll pop up and be like, hey, it stopped working, it stopped working, and it continuously does it. So, today we're going to fix that error. How we're going to fix that, of course, is you need to go to that link right there. Usually if you plug in your Sony, it'll automatically pop up but I'm just going to download the newest version of the software and by doing that I just click when you first click download it downloads and after it downloads it'll tell you to select your language after you select your language I'm just going to agree to this yes we're just going to let this download right here Xperia Companion and we're just doing this because what we're literally going to have to do is reset our phone. Which always sucks because while this is downloading, I'll load up something else for you. I'm going to load up right here. And we're going to click the Xperia. You're going to see your internal storage. You don't have to worry about anything on your SD card. That's safe. So if you've saved your photos on there, you're fine. But it's always good to back up, say, everything in this folder. This is your DCIM folder. Um, anything like video and photos that you took is usually in here. So anything you posted to Facebook for photos and stuff like that. So it's good to go through here. And it's good to save stuff in your downloads if you have any documents you need. If you saved any documents. These are all your apps. Oh, and then, of course, if you haven't used an SD card, you'll probably have music in here, maybe some movies in there, uh, messaging, your, all your messages and stuff, WhatsApp. Just go through all these and make sure you save all your stuff onto your computer. Better safe than sorry. And don't worry about screwing up your phone because it's already screwed up. Aha! The companion is now successfully done. We're going to click on here. Oh, look at this. Always nice. You can either now what I showed you is the manual way to go around. You can actually press here and it'll let you to browse. Uh, we're gonna press software repair. This is what we're gonna have to do. If you haven't downloaded the new update and it's trying to make you download the software, which means you somehow stumbled across my video, make sure you download it through here, not through the phone. That's how you save yourself this headache, apparently. So we're gonna press software repair. It's gonna warn you should have more than 80% battery life. Okay. Yes, I know my Google account details. Okay, you're going to delete everything but what's on the SD card. It's going to initialize, it's going to download some things, it might ask you some questions. Let's see if it's going to ask me some questions. Again, what an annoying way to uh, update your phone in the morning. I was on my way to work, I was like, I'll just press software update, it'll be updated by the time I got to work. It actually took like two hours to update. So, by the time I got home, I was like, yay, this is annoying as hell. And that message wouldn't go away. At first I thought it was just me, so I typed it into Google, and then apparently it's a big thing. What a bad way to do it, though. You'd think they would have tested the update a little bit more before posting it. Anyways, I'm going to start this up after this finishes initializing and downloading and stuff. I'll show you in a sec. So just like the software, we're going to just click here, yes. It's going to download. This isn't the fastest laptop in the world, but it works for the process. I've also got Windows 10 on my other PC, so it works the same for Windows 7, Windows 10, all that fun stuff. Let's see how this is going. Again, I'm just going to let it kind of roll through. I think from here it's probably just going to ask me where to install the update, maybe, but we will see. 
So we've gotten to the next part of our video. As you can see, it's saying disconnect the USB cable. So let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, just disconnected. Turn off your device. So we're gonna hit the power key, power off. It's too bad, this is like the only thing that's annoyed me with this uh, entire thing. I've loved this phone. Super cool. All right, after that, it says, Oh yes, we also have to apparently disconnect the USB cable from the computer. Don't ask me why. And then now it says after five seconds, connect to there. Now this is going to be the hard part. I don't know if I can do it well doing the video, but we will see. I'm going to pinch this between my legs. I'm then going to hit the volume down button and plug the phone in while holding volume down. It's installing something. Let's hope that it goes to the next part of the application. Friend, this might take a second. Oh, it found it. It found the flash device. Oh, look at that. Nothing is on our screen, it's just charging. It says, your Xperia is now ready to be repaired. Press next. Okay. It's repairing your Xperia device. So I'm going to let it do this and I'll let you know if it does anything because this might take a while. Alright guys, I went downstairs and did some stuff in the garage and then I came back up and it says this software is finished successfully because it took a while. I came back up here after like a half hour and it was still doing stuff. So it says disconnect your device. Okay. Turn on your device. Warning, it could take a while. Let's turn it on. Will it boot? Or did I brick it? Oh boy. Oh, it vibrated. Now it's going to boot, boot, boot. I'm hoping this fixes it because, oh my gosh, that was annoying. Now, if it asks you to update the software right when you turn it on, say no and do the software update through here. Let's press done. Because even if it screws up your phone, you can't do anything at this point. See how it's a software update? We're going to do our software update through there if it didn't do the update automatically when it did the software repair. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is the direct orders from Sony. I even have the email here. I'm just, while that's booting, I might as well show you. I talked to them, and this is the instructions they gave me. As you can see, pretty easy to follow. And uh, thanks again, Patrick, if you uh, watch this video. But it's super easy. When you go into your settings, there's actually you know the support app, and when you click it, it's like, oh, your device is under warranty. Click one of the following for contacting Sony support. And I just did the online one, and I click that, and it popped up on the screen. And it asked you to put in your name and um, your email address. And then, after you, and then you can select your device. After you put that all in, they usually ask you who your provider is. And then after you click your provider and all that other fun stuff, or tell them what their, your provider is, um, they're pretty good. He, I just explained my problem to him and we got it fixed. Look at this. It's like a mirror. At least my other computer is finally up and running. That's what I use for editing my videos. This is just my laptop. I had it on here because I had this doing some updates too. That's on Windows 10 and this is on Windows 7. I haven't updated the laptop so that way if I have any programs that you know for like flashing my cars as everyone knows I run uh, car channel for most of the time and yeah either way I'm gonna let this do its thing it could take a while again so let you know when it's done so from this point just do your original setup I have a video on this so it's super easy to do if you don't know how to do your original setup you can always watch my original setup video 
on YouTube. Alright guys, so at this point if we were to go here, I'm going to select what it wants to... Yes, it's connected to the PC using the MTP. Good, I've downloaded a couple apps, but as you can see, everything's back to stock. It's all back to factory. The only thing I've noticed is it doesn't have the update yet, so I need to do I need it to check this for a software update. It's saying connect it to the USB port. So I'm gonna unplug and plug it back in. Boom. See if it reads it. If not, I might have to unplug, plug it back in, but we will see. Oh, it's asking me a question, that's why. So it sees this. Maybe we need to reopen the software. Cancel. Let's cancel. Oh, my computer wants me to restart. Postpone. All right. Sony PC Companion. The one we want is Xperia. I downloaded two originally because I was trying them both out. There it is. It says my device is up to date. Okay, apparently the software is up to date. That's all I wanted to double check. Good stuff. So at this point, all I'm going to do is go through my phone and re-download all my apps. I mean, that's basically it. I've noticed that a couple of my contacts that weren't saved, so that's the other thing I'm gonna say. Make sure you back up your contacts to uh, your Google. That's what I usually do. The other thing I have to make sure I tell you about is make sure there's no other Google account synced to your, your Gmail. Because if there is, the funny thing was is since I had three Gmail accounts synced to my one, I had to go through all three of them because first one it said, oh, this isn't the user that owns this phone. And it was the last Gmail account that I created that was that signed in. So if you're linked to multiple Gmail accounts, make sure you know all your username and passwords. But other than that, um, from here, it's time to bring your phone back to normal. You can put your phone back on, your ringtones back in, and uh, so you have all those, but that's basically all there is to this. And as you can see, I can click on the Play Store now, and it allows me to download apps, and it's just, it's a stupid process, but I hope this helps you get around your, uh, that dilemma that's going on with the Google Play Store. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe and like for more.